In the realm of ancient legends where gods and heroes strode the land, there lived a young warrior named Aelius. Aelius was no god, nor was he a seasoned hero. He was an ordinary mortal, his heart filled with dreams larger than his experience could contain. He had heard tales spun by the fireside, tales of epic battles fought by divine warriors who could wield the power of the gods themselves. These were the legendary champions, the ones who walked where even gods dared to tread. Aelius yearned to be among these champions. He desired to feel the rush of battle, the weight of a divine weapon in his hands, the power of the gods coursing through his veins, but doubt clouded his dreams. He was inexperienced, unsure of his abilities, and his journey had barely begun. Yet his ambition remained unwavering, his resolve unbroken. Aelius was willing to embark on a journey to become a true champion, to fight battles with the strength of the divine. His story was just beginning, and in the realm of ancient legends, anything was possible. One day, as Aelius walked through a vast, enchanted forest, he stumbled upon a hidden grove. In the heart of this grove stood an ancient oak, its branches extending like the fingers of the gods, the air pulsating with a divine aura. As Aelius neared the tree, a deep voice as resonant as a gong echoed through the grove. Young warrior, it boomed. You seek to become a true champion, harnessing the strength of the divine, but first you must grasp the essence of battle, the essence of the gods. Aelius knelt before the tree, the air heavy with power. Teach me, he pleaded. The voice responded. To wield divine strength, you must first find your inner strength. It's not your physical prowess, but the fire in your heart that counts. A true warrior is defined by bravery, determination, and an unwavering resolve. Alias absorbed these words, understanding that his journey would be demanding, but he was ready to face it. The voice continued. Furthermore, you must master the art of strategy. Battles aren't won by brute force alone. Analyze your adversaries, exploit their vulnerabilities, and outsmart them with shrewd tactics. A true warrior combines strength and intellect. Alias listened attentively, his resolve firming with each word. Lastly, the voice declared, You must embrace the power of the divine. Seek guidance from the gods, channel their energy and let their essence flow through you. You are merely a conduit for their potent forces, a mortal channel of divine strength. Alias arose, his heart pulsating with purpose. This divine encounter at the ancient oak was the commencement of his journey. With the wisdom of the tree and the power of the gods, he was ready to become a legendary champion. Alias stood, his heart filled with purpose. He knew that this divine encounter was the beginning of his journey. And so Aelius embarked on his quest, training tirelessly, honing his skills and seeking the favor of the gods. His days were filled with intense training, pushing his body to its limits and beyond. He practiced his swordplay, his movements becoming fluid and precise. He studied ancient texts on strategy, becoming a master of the battlefield. He meditated in the silence of the grove, reaching out to the divine for guidance and strength. With the wisdom of the ancient oak in his heart, Aelius applied his lessons in every challenge he faced. He cultivated courage, standing tall in the face of adversity. He demonstrated determination, pushing through his limitations and rising above his fears. His resolve became unwavering, a steadfast beacon that guided him through the trials and tribulations of his path. The young warrior learned to combine brute strength with intellect, applying clever tactics to outwit his opponents. He studied their techniques, understood their weaknesses, and used this knowledge to his advantage. Alias became a tactician, a strategist who could turn the tide of battle with a single move. As he grew stronger and wiser, Aelius also embraced the divine, letting the energy of the gods flow through him. He became a vessel of their power, a mortal conduit of divine strength. He felt their essence in every swing of his sword, in every decision he made, in every breath he took. His journey was arduous, fraught with danger and uncertainty. Yet, with each passing day, Aelius became more than just a warrior. He became a symbol of hope, his name echoing across the land, whispered in awe and respect.
His battles were epic, his victories resounding. Yet in the heat of battle, he always remembered the words of the divine voice. He fought not with the fury of a mortal, but with the calm, measured essence of a true warrior. He fought with the strength of the divine, his heart ablaze with the fire of the gods. With each battle he faced, he remembered the words of the divine voice and fought with the essence of a true warrior. His journey was just beginning, and the path ahead was long. But Aelius knew that he was ready, for he had learned the essence of battle, the essence of the gods. Years passed, and Aelius became a hero, renowned throughout the land for his valor and strength. The boy who had once wandered into an enchanted forest, unsure of his own abilities, had grown into a mighty warrior. Driven by the fire in his heart, the wisdom of the ancient oak, and the strength of the gods, he walked a path that few could tread. Aelius's victories on the battlefield became the stuff of legends. He wielded his sword with a warrior's fury and a god's might, his every strike a testament to his unwavering resolve and the divine essence flowing through him. He was not merely a fighter, but an embodiment of the divine power he had sought and embraced. His opponents often towered over him, fierce and formidable. But Aelius was undeterred. He studied them, understood their weaknesses, and outwitted them with clever tactics. His battles were not won by brute force alone, but by a blend of strength and intelligence that only a true warrior could possess. And yet, it was not the roar of the crowd or the thrill of victory that fueled Alias's journey. It was the divine essence within him, the mighty river of power that flowed through his veins. Each time he stepped onto the battlefield, he felt the gods guiding him, their energy pulsating in his heart. He had learned the essence of battle, the essence of the gods, and with each victory he honored them, his sword a beacon of their divine strength. He was no longer an ordinary mortal. He was Alias, the legendary champion, a vessel for the mighty forces of the divine. But his transformation was not merely physical. It was a spiritual journey, a testament to the power of courage, determination, and unwavering resolve. He had discovered the divine essence within himself, had tapped into a power greater than he could ever have imagined. He had learned the divine essence of battle, and it flowed through him like a mighty river. Alias had become more than a hero. He had become a legend, a beacon of hope and inspiration, a testament to the power that lies within us all. As he stood victorious on the battlefield, his manly voice echoed across the land, inspiring others to seek their own divine essence. This marked the dawn of the legacy of Alias, the legendary champion who transformed from an ordinary mortal to a divine conduit. Yet his journey was not solely about his own transformation. It was about inspiring others, empowering them to seek their own path, to find their own divine essence. Alias was not just a warrior, he was a beacon of hope. His story resonated with many, reaching the ears of young and old, from remote villages to bustling cities. His name became synonymous with courage, determination, and the strength of the divine. His tale was told and retold, inspiring countless others to embark on their own quests, to strive for their own greatness. Now, what truly set Alias apart was his belief in the power of empowerment. He understood that his greatness was not defined by the battles he won, but by the people he inspired, by the warriors he encouraged to seek their own divine essence. This was his true legacy. In the realm of ancient legends, Alias stood out, not as a solitary hero, but as a catalyst for change. His actions spurred others to discover their own potential, their own inner strength, their own divine essence. His legacy was not a collection of his own victories, but rather the wave of champions that rose in his wake. Alias was a testament to the power of the divine essence, a testament to the strength that lies within each of us, waiting to be unearthed, waiting to be harnessed. His story served as a reminder that we are all capable of greatness, that we all have the potential to become champions in our own right. For Alias had learned that true greatness lay not only in winning battles, but in empowering others to find their own path to becoming champions. This, dear friends, is the true legacy of Alias, the legendary champion who taught us all to seek our own divine essence.